Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today is all about handbags. My top 10 most used handbags for 2021. You guys will definitely see a little bit of a theme going on by the end of this video, but I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so these are in no particular order. The very first one is the beautiful Chanel Trendy CC in the size small in the black lambskin and the champagne gold hardware. This bag is absolutely fabulous and I am obsessed. Uh, just a little bit of a warning, I think you guys are gonna hear, uh, I'm obsessed quite a bit throughout this video. So again, just a little bit of a heads up. Uh, but I am obsessed with this bag. It is everything that I thought it would be and more. Uh, it made its way to my collection, of course. You guys know the hubs gifted it to me and uh, it definitely makes it even more special but I, th I think it's absolutely beautiful. I like the fact that it's a little bit simple, but it also has a few bells and whistles, but I think it has bells and whistles in just the right spots. I'm obsessed with this gold bar here. I think it just gives it a little bit more oomph. It gives it a little bit more, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and I'm just, I'm absolutely here for it. I think it's wonderful. Uh, I have had quite a bit of scratches on this bag. Um, you guys saw the, uh, the big old scratch that I have on here when, uh, when I revealed it and I decided not to treat it. I decided not to add any conditioner to it. You guys know that I'm not really one to add any type of, um, conditioners to any of my handbags. If they get a scratch, they get a scratch, so be it. Uh, in my eyes, I feel like it lets the bag tell a story and no other bag has the same scratches that mine does. You know what I mean? So I don't know, that's just the way that I feel. I like the fact that it has unique beauty marks. But um, anywho, uh, so I do have the scratch here and I actually have quite a bit of scratches uh, right there. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. And I think it's just from me uh, grabbing at it right here. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's been holding up fabulously. Um, obviously, I haven't had it all, all year, but in the amount of time that I have had it, I've been using it quite, quite a bit. No issues with the corners, uh, no issues with the bottom either, because as you guys know, this bag doesn't come with any feet. There was a part of me that thought, ooh, the bottom is going to get trashed. But um, no, happy to say no problems whatsoever. Uh, and as far as the interior goes, uh, you do have the three compartments. I will be honest with you. I don't really, I mean, sometimes I do, but not really. I don't use this back pocket too often or this back compartment. I more so end up uh, using these two here and uh, I'm able to fit all of my daily essentials in here, no problem, and then some. So I do think it is quite spacious, even though this is the uh, the small, I think it's uh, I think it's very, very spacious, but I love this bag, it's beautiful. And the fact that you have two different ways to, to be able to carry it, or three, depending on the person. Of course, you have a top handle and then you have this uh, the strap here. This is the newer model, so uh, you can't end up removing the strap. On the older models, you were able to take this off, which I thought was really great, uh, but with this one, you can just end up putting it on your shoulder. Some people have been able to get away with using it as a crossbody bag. I definitely cannot. It looks it looks hideous on me that way, all right? So I mostly tend to carry it this way. But love, love, love this bag. And um, I, think, uh, I think it's absolutely incredible. All right, moving on to the Dior book tote and the size small in the color burgundy. This bag right here, I love, love, love the details that it has. It's very comfortable. It's insanely spacious for the small size. I currently do have an organizer in there. Uh, some more organizer, which I think um, is absolutely fabulous. I have mostly ended up using this as a work tote. And the fact that I'm able to load this puppy up and put all of my daily essentials, my kitchen sinks, your kitchen sink, everything in here, and it fits nicely and it's still not like this crazy heavy bag, makes me very, very happy. So absolutely love the Dior book tote. And um, yeah, it's it's been holding up very nicely, but you can see I have quite a bit of lint. So it does, uh, it does attract lint uh, a little bit, but um, not too, too bad. And I think that honestly, because of the oblique, it hides it really, really well. So there we go. The Dior book tote. Next up, 
I honestly don't think this bag was ever going to make it onto my most used list. Uh, I actually think the, the year that I got it, it made it onto the list as well. So it, it surprised me then and it surprises me now. Uh, I am talking about the Louis Vuitton bum bag. This bag, <laughs> for a bag that I was so against for, for a little while, kind of along the same lines as the Speedy Bandolier 25. You guys know how I feel about that. I'm not gonna get into it. Um, this bag has definitely surprised me in such a great way. It is so insanely comfortable. I don't use it as a fanny pack. I know I still get people asking me questions. Are you going to use it as a fanny pack? No, never. I will never use this bag as a fanny pack. I refuse. It might be the most comfortable way to use this bag. I still refuse. Um, <laughs> but uh, I actually love using this crossbody because I find it to be very generous. It does have the adjustments. So even when you do put it on uh, as a crossbody bag, I don't feel like it ends up smashing down my boobs. I don't feel like it's um, I don't feel like it's too tight I do find that it is quite generous and I do have a larger chest so for me to for me to feel that it's very comfortable I think uh, I think ends up working out the best for my lifestyle to be able to use it that way another way that I also love using this bag is as a shoulder bag it's super comfortable this way as well and of course it's not like this large this large bag but it still ends up fitting all of the essentials i do have to go a little bit more compact uh, but it is just it's awesome it's an awesome awesome bag and i cannot recommend it enough um, I'm, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And let me just show you guys. I will have to say one thing that the zipper can sometimes be a little bit of a pain in the ass to open up just because it is a little bit hidden because of this flap. Uh, but it doesn't, um, I don't feel it's, I don't feel it's as bad as the Palm Springs mini backpack. I, again, I have the old version. You guys know that. Uh, but there is the interior. I also have a Smorga organizer. Actually, I think you're going to find most of these bags have <laughs> some Morga organizers because they end up keeping the the shape of the bags looking, I mean, they end up keeping the shape of the bags fabulously. So absolutely love some Morga, but there you go. Still spacious and you can see everything at a glance. So love, love, love this bag. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Second year in a row or what have you, that it makes it to my most used list. Crazy! Never thought I would say that. Another bag, I don't think that this is a surprise um, because it's been on every single most used bag list since I started making these videos. That is the Chanel Medium in the Black Caviar with the Silver Hardware. This, to me, is the perfect size for a classic flap. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's very, very comfortable. It doesn't matter you know, how I end up loading it up, if I end up uh, carrying a little bit less or if I carry a little bit more and if I try to push the envelope, uh, the chain never digs into my skin. It's never uncomfortable. And uh, it's, I think it's the perfect size. Like I said, for, for my lifestyle, I think it's perfect. But um, this, this bag is, is wonderful. I love the caviar leather because it's very, very carefree. So whether it's, it's 150 degrees like it is here in Southern California sometimes, or if it's raining, the fact that I can incorporate this bag into my, into my lifestyle or into my, uh, into my wardrobe, I think is wonderful. So for those reasons, I feel like this bag will always end up being on my most used list. Um, and I just have the, <laughs> I have the chain off to the side. That's why it probably looks a little bit weird, but absolutely love this bag. Next, the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. Now this bag is just, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And even though it's small, trust me when I tell you it can pack a punch. The fact that I'm able to fit all of my daily essentials and then some in here without an issue is absolutely amazing. Of course, the opening is a little bit smaller because it's not the largest handbag in the world. Uh, so sometimes I do end up having to put my items in <laughs> on its side in order to fit them in a little bit better. But still, the fact that I can carry everything that I need in here is absolutely fantastic. Of course, Louis Vuitton recently released the Speedy 20 and the monogram canvas and the leather. The leather is a revamp, but the monogram 20 I think is absolutely fantastic. And also Louis Vuitton is releasing, I think in January, I could be wrong, don't quote me on it. They're releasing the Nano Speedy with just about 
just about the same size as this one here, but they're releasing the Nano Speedy with a removable, removable, adjustable strap. Yeah, you heard that right. A removable, adjustable strap. I feel like they did that on purpose. I feel like they knew everybody and their mother that wanted this bat. I shouldn't say everybody, but um, <laughs> they knew that people wanted this to be with the removable, adjustable strap. And they're like, now nah, let's milk it a little bit more. And then we'll release this one for, I don't know, like three grand. No, I don't know what, how much they're going to be. I'm not trying to start any rumors either. Uh, but yeah, how do you like them apples? Now with a removable, adjustable strap. Like really? What's going on? But I still love this one. I still love it. I still think it's fantastic. And I am still thinking about cutting off these straps or um, removing them so I could still use this bag the way I want to. So <laughs> anywho, I'm getting off, uh, off subject, but love this bag. It's amazing. It's small, but it packs a punch. Next, the Pollen number no. nine in the color Camel. I know that I have not done a review on this bag yet. I am so sorry, uh, but these are all kind of like mini reviews anyways. Uh, but this bag I think is incredible and it's actually my favorite Pollen handbag out of the entire uh, collection that I have from this brand. I think it's beautiful. I love the silhouette that it has. It's very different, it's very unique, and I'm obsessed with the leather. You guys have heard me talk about Pollen many, many of times, and I always love their craftsmanship, and I'm obsessed with their leathers because they're so soft, they're so comfortable, and the fact that this does have the pebble leather also makes it very, very durable. So I think it's wonderful. It does come with a removable, adjustable strap. I honestly don't, uh, I don't use this strap. I actually find it to be a little bit uncomfortable just because it is a little bit on the thinner side. So when I do end up loading this bag up, I feel, or even if I don't load it up, I feel like, um, this strap just lets me feel the weight a little too much. So for that reason, I do prefer to hand carry this bag anyways, uh, but I think it's gorgeous. And I also have it in black, but I, <laughs> I, I love this one. I like the black one, but I love, love, love the camel. This color is gorgeous. So the Pollen number nine. Uh, again, I know that um, I have definitely uh, slacked on doing that review, but that is something that is on my to-do list for next year. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for that. All right, another bag that I feel will always, until the end of all time, and actually beyond that, will always be on my most used uh, handbag list is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Uh, this year, I definitely ended up using the monogram canvas the most. Uh, second would be the uh, the Damia Zor, and then third would be the Damia Ben. I do have all three canvas prints, uh, but this bag, I don't care if everybody ends up being over this bag, if they're, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, the Neverfull is so like 10 years ago, blah, blah, blah. Not in my eyes. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder anyways, right? Uh, but this is my end all, be all tote. It's simple, but it's so, so comfortable. And the fact that you can incorporate it into your lifestyle various ways. I mean, you guys have heard me talk about this bag I don't know, probably a hundred times on my channel. I probably have like five or 10 dedicated videos to it. So I'm not gonna get into it too, too much, but it's awesome. To me, it's my OG of totes, you know what I mean? So I, I, I think it's amazing, absolutely amazing. And I mean, I've had this bag for, for eons and it still looks pretty good. So I think that's wonderful. Um, all right, now these last three, I did talk about them in my last video, my best purchases of 2021. So I'm not going to get too carried away. I don't want to give you guys an earful. Uh, but the first of those three is the Lueve Puzzle Bag in the size small and the color Scarlet. Um, I added this bag, I want to say mid-year, and I have been using it quite a bit. It is such a joy to use. I love the unique style that it has. I love the leather. Uh, the small size is actually quite spacious. I'm able to fit all of my daily essentials in here, no problem. Uh, but um, it's an, I think it's an awesome bag. It does come with a removable adjustable strap but I don't know <laughs> I don't know where I put it I have bags like all over my room right here so forgive me for not uh, bringing it up to the camera uh, but yeah it's it's a great bag 
very, very comfortable. And Lueva's, um, Lueva's leather here is just, it is out of this world. I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys are on the fence about going for the puzzle bag, if you don't know, all I can say is if you do decide to go for it, I promise you, you will not regret it. Absolutely love the Lueva puzzle bag. Uh, all right, number nine is the Gucci Ophidia denim tote. Oh yeah. Again, you guys know how I feel about this bag. It's, it's a tote. Uh, it has the denim and I've been wanting a denim handbag for quite some time, but every time I look for a denim bag, they're either, the, the denim's either like kind of gnarly. It's either like super washed out or it's funky or it's dingy. And I feel like it has to be the right kind of denim, at least for myself. So I love the color of this denim and then paired with the dark brown leather, I think is beautiful. Uh, of course, this bag doesn't really end up holding up its shape too well. So I also have a Samorga organizer in here. Just like I said before, I, I feel like almost all of these bags have uh, Samorga organizers, but it does have the organizer and I feel like it really helps it to maintain its shape. Otherwise it just kind of goes, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't think I had someone ask if this is going to be a forever bag as of right now, I don't see it as a forever bag. Of course, you never know what the future holds. Uh, and I don't know how well this denim is going to hold up because it is, um, it's, it's very, very soft and who knows, it might end up, um, it might end up looking gnarly in the future. I have no idea. But as of right now, with as much as I have used it this year, it's holding up uh, really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. But awesome bag, crazy, crazy spacious. And one thing that I always talk about is this magnetic closure. It is just, yes. <laughs> I love that. It, it's so sturdy. And I like the fact that you can hear it. It's almost like a little, it's a little mini ASMR video, right? <laughs> but anywho, the uh, Gucci Affidia denim tote, I feel like it's cutting off the bag, um, but also very comfortable to use on my shoulder. I don't find that these straps end up uh, falling off of my shoulder whatsoever. So I think that is amazing. And I know I've had some totes in my collection that do end up doing that and it drives me up the wall. Here we are at the very end, number 10. Now, like I said before, I'm not gonna give you guys an earful because I have been talking about these bags quite a bit. I have a few videos on them and I will put them on the description box below if you guys want to check them out. So all I'm going to say, all I'm gonna say is if you know, you know. And I am talking about the Marc Jacobs mini leather tote in the color red. Oh yeah, baby, absolutely. This guy had to be on the list because it is fantastic. So again, if you know, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but that does it for this video. Did any of these handbags surprise you? I know they definitely did end up surprising me, uh, but this year was really fun. I felt like, I felt like I kind of went a little bit out of my comfort zone in some things and it ended up working out fabulously. And I've tried out different silhouettes and different brands that have really kind of made me open my eyes to another world of possibility when it comes to handbags. So I absolutely love that. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I, I think that these bags are amazing. And like I said before, I do look forward to doing some reviews on some of them on the ones that I have Slack. So keep an eye out for those uh, videos in the future. But what about you guys? What were some of your most used bags for 2021? Let us know in the comment section down below. But I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information on these items, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection. But I love you. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see you later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.